So, what do you think? Will uh, Snatchables take game number two on Cloud Kingdom as well, or is Underdark going to make a comeback? Um, well, I think Underdark is probably... I'd imagine after the unsuccessful attack last game, he's probably going to go for a uh, like a Forge Faster expansion. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm still torn on gateways. Like, you can get a gateway expansion a lot easier now, as we you know, have clearly seen. But, I don't know, this, like, the early timings are so predictable that they don't seem justifiable enough to do. So, yeah. And, like, I'm still very torn on them. Um, basically, the gateway expansions, if you gateway expand, you have to pressure. Yeah. You just have to. And, you know, with uh, delaying your gas, uh, like, like Underdark did, the previous game, to get the faster Nexus, uh, it's a good thing to do if you want to play defensively. But I don't, uh, I'm not really a big fan of that when you want to play offensively, because by doing that, you are delaying your timing, because you delay your core. So, I think, like, either doing a straight-up, very clean one-gate expand off of one gas, for example, or just, uh, or just, uh, well, I, I don't think it's really viable doing uh, three-gate expansions anymore, but, yeah, just... Doing a very clean expansion off of one gas is better than, than what Underdark did in the previous game, in my opinion. And then it all yeah. comes down to execution, uh, to do as much damage as you can with taking as few losses as, as you can. Uh, I think this is that, that's the better way to go around it, um, to go about it. And it seems... Oh, okay, it's not going to be the same build. Uh, we have double gas coming out yeah. at 15 uh, for... Uh, <coughs> For Underdark, so now I was watching. Do you, you do you know the Chinese player Max said? Yep. Yeah, thought you would. Um, he was streaming <laughs> last. Yeah, like he's a pretty known player. He was streaming last night, and he went for a two, two gas like so with two guys on each gas um, with a Cybercore expansion. He went like a one. It was like one. No, I think it was a Zealot Sentry Militia Core expansion, and they went for a five gate with pure Zealot Sentry, and I'm talking like six. Sentries mm -hmm. with like twenty zealots. Um, so, so, so like the the old Wings of Liberty yeah. style that Huck used to favor a lot. Pretty much in uh, in the 2011. Yeah, uh, of course. The only difference is you can add a mothership core. But actually, mm -hmm. we do have an, another pylon which is in his base, which shouldn't be in his base if he was going for some sort of expansion because of course that pylon goes to start walling off. Oh um, well. So, you have a point there. I mean, this can be a one base play even. Uh, we have the we have the core finished. Uh, yeah, unless he's just going for a bit of a later expansion with a heavier pressure. Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, the only thing I can think of right now that it could be is like a very old school, very traditional and. Uh, traditional style of 3-gate or 1-gate yeah. expands, and it looks like it is going to be a 1-gate expand. He keeps producing sentries and he's saving up minerals, sending his drone down, so uh, yeah, it is going to be a 1-gate expansion, but we do have a lot more gas right now than we had previously, yeah. and we are going to have a lot of sentries out on the field as well, because that's the only way you can save up enough minerals for those additional gates right now. Yeah, and he's actually put all his guys on gas. You know, so we have six guys on gas, which is a you know, heavy amount of gas. So I'd imagine there's either going to be a lot more sentries added in or some sort of tech structure, pretty much, as the Mothership Core is already uh, out, and he still has 200 gas. So that is, you know, that is a lot of gas. So it is a lot of gas. Uh, so those minerals are going to be dumped into pumped into gateway speed is happily ticking away for snitchables here uh, not looking to take a third base just yet he is really careful and uh, first hallucination coming out now this is one of the uh, the many advantages that gateway openings give you yeah. if you if you actually don't delay your gas you have a very quick scout so snitchables is going to see exactly what is up he's going to see that there is no third base of course with a mothership core as well we have four gates in production right now taking us up to five there is a mother oh it's the mothership core there is no 
probe on the map just yet, but it's looking like that build that Max had done last night. Mm. Uh, you know, a lot of gas, a lot of sentries, and then he, he just warped in like an absurd amount of zealots. And I'm talking, like, it was on Daybreak, and there were like four spine crawlers, and he actually hallucinated a lot of zealots and put them at the front and run it. Oh down. my god. I, 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 did, I did this once on the old Shattered Temple, and, <laughs> and, and I actually, like, I had. I had about 10 hallucinated units with me. My real army was uh, three stalkers, one zealot, and uh, two sentries. Uh, or three sentries, maybe. Like, really, half my army, or more than half, was hallucinated. And I won that. I won that because I for the Zerg did not have a detection, so I forced him to maneuver back, and he just retreated yeah. in front of my army. And then he messaged me about 10 minutes after we finished the game, and... Uh, yeah, those are really words I care not to repeat in a live broadcast, but needless yeah. to say, he wasn't happy. Uh, I bet he felt like a right idiot. Alright, <laughs> so it's not going to be an all-in. Uh, we do yeah. have two extra gases added, we do have the plus one, and also a robo. So, this is interesting. Um, very curious build. So, I'm interested to see why he follows that up, what comes out of this robo. And I think it's going to be a warprism, is it? I wouldn't be surprised for it to be an immortal, neither. Yeah, um, it's, to be it's to be quite very, honest, it's like I'm very curious. I thought because he was moving out, maybe a war prism. So of course he can reinforce. There's no probe. There is the probe, and it is going to be an observer. So maybe he just um, he's seen a lot of, I don't know, uh, like bu early burrow to stop this type of attack. But it's going to be a pressure as the robo bay is added on. He wants to go for the third. That is the goal of this attack. The third now finishing up. He does see it thanks to his hallucinated phoenix, and of course. You know, the third just finished, so there's not going to be any creep there to get the spine crawlers in advance. So th there is nothing here but roaches and some queens. So force fields and you know, st stalker sentry will do a good job against us. Yeah, it will. With good force fields, you can uh, kill a lot of these ro roaches. I do have to say that uh, these force fields seem a little bit wasted, yes. uh, in my opinion. Saving the pylon, baiting out two additional force fields. How high is the force field energy? Only one force field remaining. Uh, maybe even two, oh, three. three force fields. Okay, three force yeah, fields. Yeah, just went on. <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna have to have some really clutch force fields. And behind this, of course, the Zerg is getting uh, speed. There's the can't uh, the kill on the pylon. That nearly supply box the Protoss as well. The sentry's getting targeted down, which is of course very expensive for the Protoss. And is he gonna recall? I don't think so. And the roaches have nearly got speed, so he has to do this. And ooh, there's the there recall. we go. But some of the units getting picked off just uh, at the nick of time. One century surviving. Now, you power. know, if we look at the harvester count, Protoss is actually doing really good. 53 probes versus 51 <laughs> drones. This counterattack by Snatchables is not going to do anything. We don't have a Spire down, which is really the only thing that would help Snatchables in this Ooh. situation because first Colossus is already out, second is being produced, and in a moment we will see another push by Underdark and unless we have either a really huge army by that time on the Zerg side or Mutalisks or Infestors something ready most probably this is going to do a lot of damage if not even kill the Zerg outright now uh, as I said that he put down an infestation pit so uh, probably defensive swarm hosts but I really doubt it with the Colossus which he'd seen and has to suspect there is an observer out as well. Yep. Now there are two extra gates being added into the mix, which will take him up to eight. That's quite a lot. And you know, he is actually going to be expanding. It looks like getting the creep or the overload. So I wonder if he's psyching him out. Yeah, this him. could be a fake out, and it looks like it looks like it, it looks is. Like I know, man. Last time it looked like an all-in, and he went for the expansion. So I think he's going to go for it again. Um, but it is very hard to say. Yeah, he drops it, but of course, you know, he can still cancel. He has 100 seconds, and he's you know producing Colossus, getting decent upgrades, and a good fight here for the Protoss players. Some nice force fields, trapping some of the roaches, or you know, making it harder for them to escape, and some good units there getting uh, trade. Oh, there is a massive run by into the main and to the natural. Three roaches are in the main, and actually not that many into the natural. So that gets cleaned up. That's why the recall happened. 
And that's why there are a couple of units just chilling out by the third. Now, now of course, all this is doing is buying Snitchable's time. And he is going for defensive swarm hosts. Uh, and, you know, if uh, Underdark um, attacked immediately when he was ready with those two Colossi, because that was his timing, essentially. That was what he yeah. was shooting for. Then uh, Snitchables would be in a lot of trouble because not very many swarm hosts would have been out by that time. But as it is, by the time this attack hits, he will uh, be having a total of seven if he doesn't get them killed before. And uh, the upgrade Enduring Locusts will be done, so this will be a lot more potent. But I still say Infestors in this particular case would have been the better choice. This is going to be really close. I think the Protoss might just have enough because, of course, the Zerg really hurt his economy to deal with the. Uh I think he thought some heavy attack wall in was coming, but it was just a pressure move, so his economy wasn't as good. And as you can see, yo, there's three Colossus, they're untouched. Everything on the ground is pretty much untouched. The Mothership Court does survive, all the Queens get taken out, all the Swarm Hosts are gone. Uh, we could have some Force Woods to lock the drones in here and they'll get taken out, and then the third base will be uh, taken out to follow it up there. The drones go, he's gonna get the Force Fields, no, not Karen, realizing that you can just kill this entire army pretty easily. Some two Spine Crawlers do want to join the fight. But There's the GG. Yeah.